My name is Sylvester Onye Maliji. You're welcome to Sound Mind for Positive Life. Today, I want to encourage you to break free from negative mentality. Break free from negative mentality. Negativism does not pay anybody. Negative mentality is, is a prison of some sort. Negative mentality pushes God away, keeps him afar, makes it impossible for him to give you a helping hand that he so desires and you are actually praying for. It takes faith to get God to work for us. The Bible says without faith it is impossible to please God. So if you don't have faith, if you don't show faith, if God looks into you and does not see faith, he cannot help. No matter how desperate he may want to help you, he still cannot. God is bound by his own rules and laws. And so if you want to, if you want to see God work for you, you want to live in the miraculous, you want to live in good health all the time, you want to see God's favor, God's blessings upon the work of your hands, you want to prosper, you want to make it, you've got to believe against all odds. It doesn't matter what your negative experiences have been in the past. I know that the scripture teaches that oppression makes a wise man fully foolish we become so so disturbed and so programmed by our previous sufferings that we find it difficult to to escape it one man was telling a man of god that he went to 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 consult for prayers and this man of god was sharing the testimony with us the experience he said this young man came to him and said he should pray for him that every time he's about you know making it uh, things that he's pursuing and working towards is almost happening materializing there will be a blockade and so it has been happening like that and he told him that it's something now that he's pursuing and uh, he's supposed to materialize but he also knows it's going to it's going to block that means it will not work and the man of god said i can't pray for you because you already believe it will not work so why did you come to me to ask for prayer no need for prayer because you already believe it will be the same result and so that is the problem because of previous experiences his mind has been programmed to expect the same experience over and over again. Blockage, hindrances, failure, disappointment. You know, disappointment at the verge of, 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 of breakthrough. But I want you to know, if you want to be free from all these negative experiences, you've got to get rid of the negative mentality. Your mind is the gateway to your life. I repeat, your mind is the gateway to your life. If the devil wants to enslave you, it is through your mind. If the devil wants to you know, poison you, it is through your mind. If he wants to break up your relationship, it is through your mind. If he wants to you know, bring a, a stumbling block between you and God, it is through your mind. So you need to watch your thoughts carefully. It's a gateway. So negative mindset is a seed that the enemy has planted and he uses it to enslave people. So that they cannot believe because he knows that if we don't believe god will not be able to help not because god does not have all power but his rules his laws stops it without faith it is impossible the bible says impossible the word is impossible to please god so you need to break loose from your negative mentality and you will shine like god meant you to shine let not your mind be a cage and prison but let it be a spring part for your flight to glory. It's very important. I want you to know that as long as you see with the eyes of God, you will be what God wants you to be. As long as you see life with the eyes of God, you'll be what God wants you to be. As long as you see your situation with the eyes of God, you will experience the miracle that God has promised you. As long as you see your situation with the eyes of God, it's just a matter of time. Maybe you may need to wait a little longer, but the truth is that God will not fail. 
you know, when he told Abraham that he was going to bless him with a son through the wife uh, uh, Sarah, Abraham believed that first. They got to a point, Abraham and Sarah put their heads together and they decided to, you know, through the uh, Hagar, the servant in the house, to have a boy, have a child. And Ishmael came. But when the time was right, when God felt this is the time for this boy to arrive according to my plan and program. You know, the Bible says that all things work together for good to them who love God who are called according to his purpose. So God has a purpose. And then again, the Bible says that he makes all things beautiful in his time. So the purpose of God is also timed. So when the time came, he came back to Abraham and said, this time next year, you will be with a child through Sarah. Sarah will conceive and bring forth a son. And, and Abraham said, Lord, he started, he started laughing. The Bible says Abraham laughed. And Abraham began to pray for Ishmael, that, God will, that Ishmael will find favor before God. In other words, God, just let this matter be. I'm old now. Let's forget about it. I already have a son. Why don't you accept him? Why is it difficult for you to accept him? And God said he has said what he said. He went to Sarah. Sarah laughed also. But eventually it happened as God said. So I want you to know that you need to get rid of all negative mindset. God will not fail. Just keep believing, keep believing, keep believing, keep believing, keep being positive. You trusted God for it last week, it didn't come this week, believe. Every day believe. The Bible says this is the day of salvation. Every day believe this is the day of salvation. If today is over and didn't materialize, tomorrow when you wake up, believe this is the day of salvation. Then if it doesn't happen again, keep believing every day. Keep believing. Say, forget the former things. Don't dwell on the past. See, I'm doing a new thing. Always forget the past. Once you pass today, forget it. Believe again. Keep believing. Keep Stay positive. Stay hopeful. God will meet you. So as long as you, you see with the eyes of God, as long as you see your situation with the eyes of God, as long as you keep focusing on the promises of God, you don't allow doubt in you, you don't allow negative thoughts to rage in you, I tell you, Everything will be as God planned it to be. Now, the thoughts of your mind will always influence, dominate, and control your life. So if you give your mind to those negative things, they will influence you, they will dominate you, they will control you. You know, they will make you to say wrong things. That's why, you see, after you have fasted and prayed, before you know what's happening, your mind is speaking all the negative things. And you are using your own mind to cancel all your positive declarations in the name of Jesus in the presence of God. Why? Because... Your mind, has been, your mind has been dwelling negatively on the issue. And so as a result, it will overwhelm you and your mind will start to speak it. So focus on the world. Focus on God. Don't let the negative situation get into you. Don't let your troubles get into you. Keep your eyes on God. Keep your eyes on the Word of God and very soon you will testify. Now, positive use of the mind brings happiness. It brings good health. It brings success. It brings prosperity and long life. Negative use of the mind brings sadness, brings depression, high blood pressure, sickness and diseases, failure, poverty, and untimely death. If I ask you which will you choose, I know the answer definitely will be a positive mindset. And that's what I need you to do. Think positively. Stop thinking negatively. Break free from it and your life will change. Happiness, joy, sorrow, pain, and sadness are all moods influenced by our thoughts. So, I want to be joyful, I don't want to be sad. Then I've got to think thoughts that will make me joyful and not sad. If I'm positive, full of faith, looking to God, trusting God, looking beyond my present situation and seeing my future as bright, seeing things getting better, seeing my marriage better, seeing my relationship working out, seeing me getting married, seeing me, you know, having the car, having the houses, experiencing the breakthroughs, the promotions, the job, whatever it is that I'm looking for. If I keep seeing that, I'm going to be joyful, I'm going to be happy. I tell you, I won't be sad and I won't feel pain inside of me. The delay will become momentary. I'm no longer bothered about the delay because I look forward to tomorrow and I know tomorrow will come. Trust him. He loves you. He cares about you. He will disappoint you. He will not fail you. He will keep his promise. Surely he will keep his promise. He will come. He will rescue. He will rescue you. He makes all things beautiful in his time. Not your time. His time. But surely he will come. Today is the day of salvation. I pray that your breakthrough will reach you. That God will visit you and God will change that situation this around. In Jesus' name, stay positive. God bless you. See you again.